Hi, my name is Maria and I work at the Long Beach Public Library. I'm excited that you could join us for a story time about martial arts. This is part of our Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month series that runs from May 1st to May 29th. This series uh, is highlighting Asian and Pacific Islander culture, food, stories, and more. Now, do you know where different types of martial arts began? Well, some of the types of martial arts that you might have heard of are karate from Japan, Muay Thai from Thailand, Kung Fu from China, Bokator from Cambodia, Arnis from the Philippines, and Taekwondo from Korea. And the book that we are going to be reading about is about the martial arts Taekwondo. And a lot of people pronounce it Taekwondo, but the appropriate pronunciation is Taekwondo. And our book is called Let's Go Taekwondo, a story about persistence, bravery, and breaking boards by Arm Kim. Hana, dul, set. I'm ready. One, two, three, me too. Are you ready? Let's go Taekwondo. Grandma takes Yumi to the dojang today. Her brothers Jun and Yoon are already there. Can you find them? Yumi bows as she enters the room. Then she bows to Master Cho and her classmates Gabby, Ravi, and Alejandra. First, Yumi and her friends meditate. Then they run and jump. Older kids help them with their forms. They count their kicks in Korean. Hana, dul, set, net. Yumi and her friends are getting ready to take the test for their yellow belts. Master Cho brings out boards. Yay, says Alejandra. Ha, hiya, ya. Everyone looks at Yumi. Let's go, Yumi. Do it, Yumi. Yumi looks at the board. The more she looks, the bigger it seems to get. Oh no, that doesn't look like a nice board. Don't think about hitting the board, Master Cho says. Try reaching through. But Yumi is thinking about hurting her hand. It's not about strength, says Master Cho. It's about focus. Yumi tries to focus. She reaches out. But at the last moment, Yumi pulls back. Don't worry, says Master Cho. You can try again tomorrow. The next day, a new student joins the class. His name is Caleb. Master Cho asks Yumi to help him. Yumi shows Caleb how to bow and show respect. Yumi and her friends show how they kick and punch. But when it's time to break the board, break, 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 thud. That night, Yumi can't sleep. Oh no, what is she dreaming about? It's that mean board. The next day, Yumi tells Grandma, I'm not feeling well, and I can't go to Dojang. Okay, says Grandma. 
The day after that, she tells Grandma, I have too much homework, so I can't go to Dojang. Okay, says Grandma. The next day, Yumi tells Grandma, I'm quitting Taekwondo. Okay, Grandma says. Aw, oh, man. Let's see what Yumi does next. And I'm quitting this computer. Oh no. Yumi was startled to hear Grandma shout. I want to call my sister Misuk in Korea, but I just can't do it. Just keep trying, Grandma, Yumi says. You'll figure it out. Yes, I will, Grandma says. I'll try this. And this, no. I'll try this and this. <gasps> Misuk, it's you. Annyeong, hello. I'll keep trying too. Yumi breathes deeply and focuses. She imagines a board. Hana, duel, she whispers. Set. She, Yumi slashes through the imaginary board, through grandma's favorite rice crackers, and almost through the paper towel roll. The next day, Yumi changes into, into her dobuk. I'm ready, she tells grandma. At the dojang, everyone is waiting. Yumi demonstrates her punches, hana, and kicks, dul. Are you ready, Master Cho asks. Yumi's heart pounds. She breathes, and then, <gasps> crack. Everyone cheers. Hurrah! Wow! Hooray! The best! Great job! Look at everyone celebrating! Yumi did it! Especially Grandma. Look at Yumi's yellow belt! And that's the end of our story. And here on this last page, we have more information about Taekwondo and where it began. So some fun facts are that it is practiced by all age groups and it is actually an Olympic sport. Um, and it is practiced in more than 190 countries worldwide. And here we have the national flag of South Korea. And it is displayed outside of um, Taekwondo Dojang. And we also have the Obangsek here, uh, which are the original colors that uh, come from the Taekwondo belts. Um, now there are more colors, but um, these were the original ones. And if you want to learn how to count up to 10, uh, you also have the pronunciations here. All right, and that's the end of our story time. And you can go ahead and check out this book uh, if you would like, and check out any of our other books. And our next story time is May 20th, if you would like to see that one as well. And if you missed any of our videos for this series, uh, you can check them out on our Facebook and Twitter pages. All right, see you next time. Bye.